Hey Jake, I have an idea. My um, my sisters, uh, when I was in high school, Fair Fawcett was really popular back then. And so I thought, uh, let's do that haircut. And she dramatically um, went to a, a beauty salon and they tied all her hair up on the front of her head and just cut it off. And I want you to do the same thing. Okay. It rendered, I think, the effect that I'm going for, uh, maintaining the length, but adding some layers. Okay, cool. Let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> you want me to just cut this? I want you to cut that off. Okay. Do you want me to hold it or do you want to hold it? Um, I'll, I'll, let me hold it just so I don't cut your hand. Okay. So, right here. Right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. Right there. Say it one more time. Right there. Okay. Center it. Center it. Center it. Center. No, look in the mirror. Center. Center. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cut it down a little. Come down. Come down a little bit. Okay, go ahead. Beautiful girl. <laughs> you look like Nikki Six. <laughs> You're gorgeous. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. I'm stunned. stunned. I'm nervous. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Wow. One of the reasons I wanted to cut my hair is actually, if you look at the bottom of my hair and look at the color of that, comparing it to the top of my hair, it's like two different colors. So I have like no remorse, honestly, in cutting off my hair. Over the course of two and a half, almost three years, hair has grown out, the color on the bottom is different. It's gray around the top, but also sun, heat, all the stuff, you know, the hair tends it's a different color. And so one of the reasons I wanted to cut it was to get rid of some of that color. So I don't think we're gonna live with this. What do you think, Jake? I no. don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> no. no, let's do something else. I want a versatile, uh, my agent said versatile model cut, which would be short, but long enough that you can slick it back a little bit or let it look like you have a little bit of hair when it falls down. Let's, let's do that. Cool. Got it? Yes, sir. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just wet down the head because most of this haircut is shears. So I'm just going to wet this down. So now I'm just going to start by taking length off. talked about this before, but I've been planning a haircut for uh, the better part of this year since April of this year and then the pandemic hit. So people ask me, oh, you're going to miss having long hair. And I'm like, I probably miss more having a haircut and variety of different styles than I will having a haircut. So I'm actually, you know, looking forward to this. Um, I reacted pretty strongly when I cut off my beard um, because I think you know, my identity, I think, is more wrapped up in having a beard and less so in having long hair because some people still see me with short hair. So it's not it's something that I think will be easy for me to get rid of. This would be a haircut that's uh, the length that I had back in March of 2019. So looking at this picture, this is about the length of that hair. So, um, so putting it together about a year and a half ago, uh, nine, 10 months, or 10 weeks, yeah, nine or 10 inches worth of hair um, in about that period of time. If your hair is growing about a half an inch a month, which mine typically does, maybe slightly more. So you can see a big difference in just 18 months on a length that's like this to growing it to where I had it before. 
So once again, not hard uh, for me to envision that if I wanted to grow my hair back, I can easily do that. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think it's this big, arduous process, and yeah, in the passage of time, uh, it seems like a long time, but think back 18 months in your life, you know, think back nine months since the beginning of quarantine. It went like that. It seems like it's been around forever, but really, it's gone pretty fast. And um, most people who have been in quarantine have let their hair grow for about four and a half inches, five inches, and suddenly you have long hair after even nine months. Yeah, so I'm just cutting in sections right now. I like to cut the top first um, with all sheer cuts. So I'm going to make sure the top is even to a degree. I don't want it to be 100% even, so there's some texture and some, you know, some layers up there. Um, but I'm just going through the top because after that first haircut, there's, it's just a lot of different lengths. So I want to make it to the point where it's close enough in length, but it's not all the same. And then after I'm done evening out the top, I'll cross, I'll, I'll cross check it, and then I'll work on the sides. But it's, it's all just sheer over comb until I get to the end, which is going to be just some cleaning up with a detailer, but very minimal. It's kind of weird to be actually sitting in a barber shop chair. Yeah. And, uh... Jay cut my beard recently, so it's not that, that strange, but to have someone fiddling with the top of my hair uh, for the first time in almost two years, two and a half years, a little bit strange. Just me, your old buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Remember me? Remember me? <laughs> Tell me, Jake, is it revealed that my hair is darker in the back? It is. It's darker down here, yeah. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's almost black. Right? Charcoal, yeah. yeah which I've seen the underside of my hair. You can actually see it, but for the most part, people can't see it because the long top layer would cover over any of the dark hair. So mm -hmm. this will reveal that my hair in certain areas isn't quite as gray as people think it is. Cat's out of the bag. I'm not old. <laughs> so I'm just doing sheer over comb to get rid of these, this mullet in the back. You have something against the mullet? What's that? You have something against the mullet? I hate it. <laughs> nah, I, I, like do, I like giving mullets. I don't personally like them. Well, what do you think of Eric's mullet? I mean, that's a different type of mullet. That's like a style, stylish mullet, and it has a lot of volume. Yeah, so the mullet texture. really has changed from the... The mullet, that's like a good haircut. But like the, the crazy hockey player mullet, I don't like it. I think, mm -hmm. it's, I think it looks dumb. It's always a challenge in the back of my head here. That's one of the reasons I get a fade sometimes is to just avoid the back of my neck. Mm -hmm. Talking about the fact that I have a pretty serious um, cowlick. And, um, Towards the, the bottom, yeah, right? Yeah, at the nape yeah. of my neck, yeah. So due to the uh, quarantine pandemic, have you seen, like, yeah, people's hair might be a little longer. Has mm -hmm. people's attitudes to getting a haircut or beard or... Have you, like, what trends have you seen change in the past nine or ten so months? So I've seen a lot of people are not as, they are not coming to the shop as frequent as they used to. Um, and is, it's, is, is it about safety? It's not about safety, right? Because your shop is. It's more so about there's nothing to do. So they don't want to get a haircut because there's nothing to do. They're like, oh, well, I'm not going to the bar. The bars are closed. I don't have to go into the office because I'm working from home. Um, and, you know, so where like the typical corporate dude would get a haircut every, you know, once a month or every, you know, three weeks, now is like once every two months or, or something like that, you know. And if they have a Zoom meeting that they have to use a camera for, then like you might see them, but people just aren't really pressed to get haircuts right now because so you know. haircuts were really driven on the fact that people are around people yeah. and want to be seen looking appearance. good. Exactly. It's appearance. And but so, there's also people that are going crazy at home that are like the only normalcy in their life is to get a haircut. So they're like, uh, you know, which is like, I also understand that to a degree. I get that. Right. So now I'm just going to comb all this hair from the sideburn to the back. And I'm just gonna lightly 
chisel this out and get rid of these strays. And I'm going to do what I, what I do with beards typically. And I'm just going to kind of hedge trim this area to bring all these hairs that are all curled up and just knock them down. Because I don't want to lose length here and I don't want to go in with a clipper and take weight out of the beard and the hair. So I'm just going to freehand this. That's good. You helped me out there. Yep. <laughs> Up until guys, you know, don't, don't hesitate to ask your barber to groom your ears. It sucks when you see someone with a nice haircut and they just have ear hair sticking out. Yeah. It takes away from it, you know. And with my hair long, you know, I've been grooming my ears. I, you know, hit it with a Brio um, nose and ear trimmer, you know, every once in a while. But for the most part, no one sees it with the long hair. Because mm -hmm. I tend to wear my hair down. I wear my hair down. So this is the length, yeah. All right, cool. Definitely. Perfect. Yeah, how long is the top? It's long. It's got plenty of volume up there to play with. Okay. Do you want it shorter on top? No. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, old money. Hey Mary, yeah. are you here? This is the new look for Greg. Having something new is nothing new. So. We haven't seen each other for three days. Might have to go away now. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.